Okay, one of the other types of things that we need to explain are how we get volcanoes in the middle of plates. And the Hawaiian Islands are a really good example. And the Hawaiian Islands are actually were kind of a puzzle to scientists prior to full acceptance of the theory of plate tectonics. Because according to what I just gave you, you need plates moving underneath each other, some type of plate boundary to produce volcanoes. And here we have Hawaii sitting out in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Where did it come from? Well, Tuzo Wilson, a Canadian geophysicist, proposed the idea of hot spots, areas in the middle of a plate that just, for whatever reason, tend to be really hot. And as the plates glide over those spots, those hot spots, magma comes up and creates volcanic islands. Tuzo Wilson envisioned it, if you might, like a man lying on his back holding a straw in his mouth in a river. Why a man would do that, I don't know, but bear with me for a minute. If you're lying on your back, blowing bubbles through a straw with a river flowing over you, the bubbles come up and they move as the water moves. That's how he came up with the idea. I'm not saying it makes sense, but anyway. His idea of hot spots is now accepted as the reason for the, or the, the model that explains the origination of the Hawaiian Islands. And here's kind of what it looks like. Here we have this hot spot, this plume of magma created in some way or another that tends to be really controversial these days, but not really important to us at this moment. As the plate moves across this hot spot, volcanoes crop up. And as we can see, as these volcanoes cool, as they move away from the hot spot, and as they cool, as the crust cools, it becomes more dense and they sink. And so here we have an island. If you think about the island of Hawaii, which has active volcanoes, versus the island of Kauai, which has no active volcanoes, then you have, you go from the youngest uh, islands to the oldest islands, a fact that was known to the ancient Hawaiians. If you go further on, you have underwater islands or underwater mountains called seamounts. And so progressively you go from younger to older to older to oldest as you move away from the Hawaiian Islands. And this is a theory of hot spots and the idea, again, that a plate moving over a hot spot throws up these different volcanoes. And if we look at a picture of Hawaii and look at the ages, we can see Island of Hawaii, Maui, Molokai, Oahu, Kauai, and their ages are younger to older Oahu being two to three million years old. Hawaii is still actively going on, so it's still actually forming. And actually, if we go offshore of Hawaii, we find an underwater volcano called Luihi. Luihi is actually a future Hawaiian island, say in a thousand years or so. You can travel to Luihi and vacation there. Right now it's underwater and it's volcanic, so it's really not the best place to vacation. But as you can see, as the Hawaiian Islands move off the hot spot, new Hawaiian Islands are formed. And this theory of plates moving across these hot places in the mantle best explains the origins of these features. We can take this out even further. If we look at the Hawaiian Islands, we see that there are a series of seamounts underneath the ocean. In fact, the Hawaiian Ridge Emperor Seamount chain was in the last year or so designated a marine reserve. And in fact, it's the largest marine reserve in the United States, if not the world. And if we continue traveling out, we can see there was a little jog here. And we have the Emperor Seamount chain that includes or goes all the way to Japan. So here's a good example of the Pacific Plate moving across a hot spot and creating all these underwater features along the seafloor that we see. So plate tectonics is really powerful for explaining islands, volcanoes, mountain ranges like the Himalayas and the Andes, submarine trenches, earthquakes, all the things that we've talked about so far. And if you ever get a chance to go to Maui and see a sunrise over Haleakala Crater, it's really a beautiful thing to witness and a beautiful place to be and it'll make you think a little bit about hot spots and really about 
the beautiful kinds of things that geology provides us on our planet.